What's up, my beautiful nieces and nephews, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, welcome to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic-y-ass clowns. Divine Feminine, as you see here, I already got your cards laid out. I'm still going to pull some more cards, but I see what the overall energy is, what's going on with some of you. Now, this is a karmic channel, so I'm going to have to start, you know, making this a little more vocal. If you came and you seen the title, then you know we're talking about your karmic ex, a karmic ex, okay, or a karmic that you're currently with, or a karmic that you recently uh, detached from. So don't be up in the comments talking shit saying, I'm tired of hearing this shit. I don't want to hear it. Then why the fuck did you click? To come to this channel. Why did you click on this title? Because you're lying to yourself. You know you want to know. And then you take your anger out. Because you know the fucking truth. And you come in the comments and try to talk shit. And you shouldn't have brought your ass here. If you don't want to hear about your ex. Because I'm letting all of my viewers know. The things that's going on around them. That's a karmic energy that. You and them may be unaware of. Okay, so don't be don't be bringing that bullshit up in here. And if you're acting karmic-y, um, I may not delete you. I just may refer to you as a karmic and put it at the front of your, the comment that I make back to you. The reply. So don't come here with the bullshit. But anyway, my nieces and nephews, thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for um, subscribing to my channel. Thank you for all the aunties. I love being the auntie that you never had. I'm the auntie that's going to tell you the truth because the truth tells me. So you can't be getting all mad at auntie when she's trying to tell you something. Even if some of you is older than me, I'm, I'm that auntie that you was growing up that you never had. That's going to tell you the truth. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to start off this reading. This reading, it actually starts off. <coughs> Somebody is healing. Okay. You are healing. Looks like my niece is healing. Okay. Because you was in a relationship with somebody who wanted you to be stuck. You was in a relationship that was unequal give and take. And the reason it was unequal give and take is because this person had a main person somewhere else. This person was being a snake when it came to you. That's why there was no success in love. Okay? Two of cups in reverse. Success in love in reverse. You could have been giving your all to this person. And they could have been given to somebody else. So we're going to get a little more information. I got to get a different deck. So yeah, um, as I pick my deck up, it says don't depend on their energy. Their money, their time, their love, focus on you. And I see that's what somebody is doing. That's why the overall energy is your healing. You're taking spiritual baths. Some of you are going just going to the beach, getting in the water, um, cleansing your energy. Yeah, because the, the, the ocean water is cleansing. Okay. Okay, so spirit, yeah, spirit is saying don't depend on this person's time, their energy, their money, or nothing. Focus on you. And this is what you have to do to heal. You stop depending on their energy. Okay, so what's going on, Holy Spirit? What is it you want me to talk to my nieces and nephews about? <laughs> Whoever you're dealing with, whoever you're healing from, they're mad. Okay? And they want to slow you down. But 
I don't think they can slow you down because you you see that the relationship you had with them was unequal, right? So you started when you stopped focusing on them, when you didn't depend on their energy, their money, and all of that, and you made your own money, you made your own time, you started loving yourself. Uh huh. Now they mad, trying to slow you down. Mm mm mm. <laughs> Tell me more about this karmic energy that the collective has healed from. Tell me more about the collective envy. You relaxing and chilling. Some of you are, you know, you taking vacations. You got to, you make enough money to take vacations. And they're mad. Because <laughs> that's part of your, your abundance. Because see, when you was focused on them... You was focusing on them, and they was focusing on whoever this is. Their main chick, okay? Auntie gonna tell you, yeah, they had they had somebody who's main, a main person, and they were being a snake in a relationship with you, and that's why there was no success, okay? This is why the two of cups is here. This person, yes, I write on my tarot cards. Okay, because I'm not a tarot reader. I am an intuitive messenger. Okay, and I use my intuition. But see, this person, um, it, it was a lot of fraud, pro false promises, trickery. But they came at you in a warm and an affectionate way to keep you dangling and hanging on. And you've healed from that. Now you're relaxing and chilling. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this karmic snake. Spiritual group that's attacking others. And judgment against who done you dirty. So, this person could have got with a group of their friends. And they could be, you know, blaming you for them cheating. Out of all the love and respect that you gave this person, they turn around and get with others to make themselves look good. To make it look like you done them dirty. And that's and and have these people talking about you. That's what the spiritual group is. Okay, it's not a a, a group of motherfuckers sitting up in church and you know no. These are the people that this person then talk to. And the reason I say it's a spiritual group is because they're getting together and they're making things happen, manifest by talking negative about you. You don't have to be spiritual to attack somebody. Okay. This is just a group of motherfuckers talking about you. Okay? And they going along with this masculine, whatever it was that he lied about. Okay? But see, he it's like he ain't telling them that he was he was hoping or she, whoever your karmic energy is, um, that they were wishing bad for you. That they were wishing for you to be stuck. Car broke down. But this is happening to them. Okay, now if this is resonating with you, go on and hit that thumbs up button. Don't be scared. Goddamn, can't nobody tell if you hit the thumbs up button unless you're 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 dealing with the narcissist and you let your narcissist uh, boyfriend or girlfriend be checking your phone. You let them they 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 phone check you phone check and you allow that shit. If you're doing if you're doing that, mm, I'm gonna pray for you. Somebody's dealing with somebody with the fear of commitment. Yeah, I'm just a squirrel trying to get a nut. This is what you healed from. Somebody who had the energy of coming and going. And, and you know, you don't need to depend on them. Okay, because this person was fake. And this is a past karmic energy. So now that you heal, they may try to come back at you. But just remember, this is just a squirrel trying to get a nut. They only want sex. So don't even get, get caught up. Now, if you're going to fuck with them, give them the same energy they give you. Ladies, you can, you can, you know, if this is somebody you've been with before and you know how they, they do you, um, I know Auntie shouldn't tell you this, but shit, I'm I'm gonna tell you the truth, and maybe some may, somebody may get mad, or maybe 
somebody don't understand. I'm a Scorpio. And we're very, you know, um, we will, <laughs> I'm trying to say it nice, though. We will sting your ass, okay? All right. We, we're, we're good at mirroring, okay? So, even if you ain't a Scorpio, I'm giving you a Scorpio trait. So, if this is somebody that is a squirrel just trying to get a nut, some of you may be Scorpio. And you're all loving and affectionate towards this person. So what you can do to make them feel some type of way, if you are, if you, if you still fucking with them now, if you know you still gonna be fucking them, you switch your energy up on them. When you are intimate with this person, the next time instead of, <laughs> instead of you laying there tucked up in the covers and all of that shit, get your ass up right after he comes. She come. Get up. Okay? Okay? Get up. Get right on in the shower. Clean yourself up. And get your bags. <laughs> I'm Scorpio, y'all. I'm telling you. When you hurt us, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna get you back. <laughs> Even if it hurts. Now, now, shout out to Scorpio. If you up in here, put it in the comments. If if you know about that type of energy, you'll pull that stinker out and you know that motherfucking is venom. Okay? So don't fuck over a Scorpio. You, you can't do that because we're too loving and kind towards our relationship. We put a lot of passion in. Shit, we the sexiest motherfucking sign of the Zodiac. You better not fuck over us. Ain't nobody gonna love you better. Maybe a Gemini will fuck you real good. <laughs> But anyway, um, this is this is so what you're gonna have to do, my nieces and my nephews. If you still like this person's intimacy and all of that, but every time they leave, they have you feeling some type of way. Then so Auntie is telling you, switch it up. Hit them with the switch up, like R. Kelly say. Like I said, instead of laying around, you get up. If you come and you know, uh you treat them, you treat them like um you just you use them. <laughs> I used to do my son's father like that all the fucking time. And he'd be like, You just using me. I said, Yep. I needed some, so you was the only one I trusted to give some, so yeah, I used you. And I get in my little car and my scoot on off after I done got what <laughs> what I needed. Cause they'll do you like that. And for somebody, that's what somebody has been doing. Okay? So if they've been, they've been, you know, like acting you, act treating you, ghosting you, hitting it and quitting it, and you all lost in love after you didn't, you know, starry-eyed behind this motherfucker because they dick is so good or because they pussy is so good, switch that energy up on them. You got to make them believe that they shit ain't worth you even laying in the bed no more. You got to make them believe that that shit didn't, didn't tire you out. Because, see, when you lay in the bed and all tired, they getting up and they going. And they taking that energy somewhere else all bright eye and bushy tail because they didn't took all your good, beautiful, positive ass fucking energy. So you got to claim your power back. When you intimate with this person, be like, oh, no, you can't have my power. So some of you, you better you better be like this. You see, you better get you some protection. Because I know the masculine, my masculine, <laughs> um, I know him, all right? So I keep my energy protected because he's around a lot of toxic people, okay? So this is what I'm saying to you. You're going to have to um, make them feel like they shit ain't shit. Stop laying around. And if you agree with me and Auntie is telling you the truth, put a bunch of purple hearts and blue hearts in the comment section and say, I hear you, Auntie. Okay? Because I'm, I'm, I'm talking to y'all just like 
I will talk to my grandbabies. That's like 14. Um, my nieces and nephews. I teach them. You know. Train them while they're young. So don't let no, no grown ass motherfucker come in here and have you all fucked up in love over them. And they ain't feeling that way about you. You give them that same motherfucking energy right back. If they act like your sex ain't good, you act like they sex ain't good. If they laying down with you and they got to get up and go, then you do the same thing. If anything, you you know they always do this. So, you know, they'll probably sit there or lay there with you for like five minutes, but then they got to go. So you get up immediately. <laughs> you wash their scent off of you. You take a shower and wash all of their scent and you spray you some new cologne and some perfume on you. You hear me? Because that's going to make them have some thoughts. Like, well, what the fuck? Okay. Tell me more, spirit. Tell me more. What do I need to tell my nieces and nephews? What else? Very much in their head because they failed to make a decision. Gang stalking hired by a karmic. <laughs> recruiting haters to jump on the hater train. See? Yeah. Because if this person is a squirrel just trying to get a nut, and, and and if you get up and you rush up to leave, you take your shower and you leave and you go, they're going to be watching you. Because they want to see, they, they're going to want to know what, what, what where, where's, where are they going? Um, um, Usually they, you know, they be crying behind me or, or, you know, like a little puppy or trying to hold on to me, keeping me from leaving and all of this shit, trying to suck all on the dick to keep me from staying to leave all of this shit. If you mm, trying to kiss all on me. Yeah. I've been there, done that. I got tired of that shit. Okay. Now marriage in the future. See, this person could be playing mental games with you and telling you. They want marriage and all of this, but in reality, they're not showing you no two of cups. They're not showing no, no, like they want to marry you, like they want to be with you um, as one. No, they're not doing that because this person has a fear of commitment. So if they act like they, you know, they fear, afraid to be committed, why are you committing yourself to them? If, a, if you're around a person and they're, you know, portraying and showing to you that they're afraid to get to take the relationship any further, they're cheating on you, they can't settle down in, don't settle down with them. And if you want to be settled, get this person out of your life. Now, if you want to be somebody who, who you're not ready to settle down and this is somebody who you're just fucking, you know, because you ain't trying to be serious, still don't give them the power to steal your energy from you. As soon as you finish having sex, you get up and leave. Shower and go. And if you, you know, if you ain't showering at their house, when you get home, you shower. You get all of the energy off of you. Okay? Tell me more. Because now you got this person, since since you're doing this, and when I say they re -hate, they're recruiting haters to jump on the hater train, that's because if you're not chasing in behind them and running in behind them, they trying to see what you're doing. And if you're making your own abundance, you're dependent on your own money, your own time, and loving yourself. And they know they felt to make a decision when it came to you. Now they're they're recruiting people. Okay? So you, you keep doing what you're doing. Don't give them your power. Because when you're sitting around, laying around, you know, thinking about them, they ain't. Because this person could, you know, they could have a smart-ass mouth. And they'll realize that the green, the grass wasn't green. Okay? You're healing from this, though. Some of you have already did this. Okay? Tell me more, spirit. I've got the collective healing from. Yeah, this person, they had multiple partners. Because they're afraid of fit, they're 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 afraid of commitment, and this is why, when you would get serious with them, they would back up, they would leave, they would disappear, they ghost you. This is where the fraud and the, and the false promises was coming in. They was being affectionate and warm, but they were still making false promises to you. 
which is a red flag. So either you want to be a part of their harem they got, um, or you can leave it alone. The spirit guides are watching over you. This person's name may start with the letter B. Blake, Billy, Bobby. It could be broke. You could have considered this person as your best friend. Confirmation. Queen of Hearts. Brandon Mitchell. So you're the Queen of Hearts and or the King of Hearts, and you're very loving and caring for others, and your ancestors are watching. Okay. And this person knows this. Brandon Mitchell. He gonna make me cuss him out. He keep calling my phone. No, I'm reading. Okay, so tell me more. Angel numbers. So some of you, um, you may be seeing the angel numbers. 111, 222, 333, or 11, 11, 22. You know, um, you may be seeing these numbers. Those numbers are messages from your spirit guides. I'm going to kick his ass. I'm doing a recording and you are interrupting me. Excuse me, y'all. Okay, so yeah, you can be seeing the angel numbers 1111, 333, 444, 555. You can see them on, um, on your phone. You may see it on receipts. Um, you may see it on the back of somebody's license plates. Uh, you can see it on a, a clock on the wall in the mall, just driving down the street. You can see these numbers anywhere. Okay, and Spirit wants me to tell you when you see these numbers, they're they're trying to warn you. And alert you of what your thoughts are. What are you thinking about when you when you see these numbers? Okay. If it's something negative, spirit is is telling you to stop them pos them negative thoughts and turn them to positive because they're listening to you, and they're you're it's a manifestation thing, and they're close by you, so they're listening to you. So if you're sitting there. And you're thinking about what this motherfucker and did to you. Stop thinking about him. And think about something positive. Because if they're if you're thinking they're cheating, then you're manifesting that because you're constantly thinking about it. Stop thinking about this person. Get them out of your mind. Okay. Out of sight, out of mind. Block them. Stop listening to their text messages. Block them. Don't, don't talk to them. Just, you know, you've already healed. Okay, so that's the overall energy. That's, this is the past, what I'm talking about, because you've healed from this. You realize that this person had multiple partners. They was cheating, but they wanted you to be stuck while they was doing what the fuck they wanted to do with other people. And you knew they wasn't shit. He gonna make me hurt his feelings. He really is. I'm gonna have to um, turn my volume. 
my do not disturb and I don't like doing that because I have kids but they right upstairs He's, I'm about to I just turn my phone on airplane mode so and that is um, he wants to be a woman it's a man that wants to be a woman and in the beginning I, I, I was just being nice being who I am and it just been he didn't went too far and, and I don't think he should be dressing putting on dressing like a woman and he's a man and you know he's he's a sweetheart but shit I don't I don't it's like that energy makes it bad for me and I'm gonna have to tell him. So <clears throat> yeah, whoever this person is, they ain't never been in love. They have a fear of commitment. Um they deal with past karmic energies. But at the same time, this person, you healed and they're proud. They're proud of you. Secretly. Mm -hmm. They pretend that they're not proud, but they are. You know why? Because you was able to heal over the bullshit that they doing. And the reason why this person has multiple partners is because they don't know how to heal. From bad, re in re they don't end relationships with people. They keep them open. Okay, you understand? They don't. They don't stay in relationships. They 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 open. They keep them open because they don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. Even if they know the person ain't good for them, they'll still keep fucking around with this person. This person don't know how to heal, and they're not healed. Okay. This is why they go around just you know. Being a squirrel just trying to get a nut. So tell me more. Spirit says it is what it is, so pay attention to the red flags. Birds of a feather flock together. Be wise with who you deal with. And you are a blessing to this person. You were, but because they have a fear of commitment, you moved on and you healed. So let's see what is the energy surrounding the collective since they left this person. What is the energy surrounding the collective? It's saying it ain't over. It's saying it's not over with you. Something didn't come to an end with you and this person, collective. Be honest, don't lie to Auntie. If you have if it ain't over, it ain't over, everybody ain't perfect. And there's plenty of people out there that found out that person was cheating and they took them back. So it ain't nothing to be embarrassed about. Okay. The richest, the most beautiful is people in the world. Fine ass, sexy ass people then got cheated on. Okay. Maybe somebody not wanting to end it with you. Maybe you ended it, but maybe they don't want to end it with you. They could be acting childish and immature. And here's the energy of somebody gaining a lot of money. Okay, tell me more what's going on with the collective since they healed from this person. You could have had a child with this person. Um, Lord forbid something happened to the child. Something could have happened with the child where, where you're suing somebody. And if it's not nothing with the child, it could have been a business that something could have ended or you didn't want it to end but you're you're gaining a lot of money since you and this person has broke up since you healing what else is going on for the collective since they healing from this karmic energy you may have met you and your soulmate a new soulmate tower Whoever this soulmate. So you done met somebody. You've healed and you've moved on. And you met somebody else. But whoever your karmic partner is. They didn't want it to be over with you. It could be a child's mother or a child's father. Okay. 
sharp ending. It wasn't, I guess they don't, this person feels that even though they had multiple partners, even though they was just a squirrel trying to get in there and they had a fear of commitment, that since it wasn't a harsh ending between you and them, it's they can get you back. Okay. This is why they're trying. They're not accepting that it's over. And here's a pregnancy out here. You can be pregnant by somebody else. Divine feminine or feminine energy. You could have this or this could this could mean that this could be your your child's father or your child's mother and they don't have a relationship with the child. They may not be taking care of the child. But they want, you know, you to, like, it's like they, they with the, I, I can't even say it. It's like this person would, you know, they would try to use the child to keep a door open for them. And you could be pregnant by somebody else. Something happened with a child, but it, 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 it the child didn't pass away. The child, somebody is getting sued, suing somebody. There's a soulmate partner. Oh, okay. So somebody, I don't know whose energy this is, but somebody, um, somebody's child got got hurt or something. And the, the, because the child's mother wasn't around, wasn't there, or was, um, this is a mother bear in reverse. So this could represent a mother who's not paying attention to her child, who's unloving, uncaring type of energy. Um, because a, a, a mother bear, you, if you didn't watch some of the videos with the mother, and this may be, this could be your person's kids because this is a bear and these are humans. So this could mean that this could be a stepmother or something who don't give a shit about somebody's kids. And she could be pregnant by your masculine, by the person you healed about. Um, you could have two kids with this person and they have a, a stepmother. I wouldn't, um, feminine energy, you my niece in here, don't leave your, don't leave your kids with this, this witch no more, whoever she is, don't leave them, because she's like, she has the energy, um, she pregnant, and she can't do this, or she can't run after these, I don't know how old the kids are, they could be 10, 10 and 9, it could be two girls, but she's, she's not, you know, um, she's not a, 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 a woman that you can trust to leave your kids with. Now, it's some, it's some, you know, cool baby mamas out there that, you know, they love kids so much that they'll fall in love with your kids. and But they're not being mean to them anything. They, they're genuine. You know, this is not that person. She's pregnant by your masculine. You healed and then moved on from this. But if you got kids with this masculine and your kids go over there, I wouldn't take my kids over there no more. Okay? I'm sorry, auntie got to tell you. And I can speak, you know, personal, um, a family member of mine lost her her baby got killed because she took it over to a masculine's house and this masculine baby's mama showed up and this wasn't even this masculine's baby she just asked them to to babysit because she wanted to go out which was dumb you know and her baby end up i think being thrown down the stairs and he was only like six or seven months old and it killed him so it's like 
don't leave your your kids because these 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 women nowadays they're a lot of them is is uh raised just I, i'm not even going to discuss it just don't don't leave your kids with this man and this woman no more even though you've healed from the situation she don't like the fact that those are his kids Okay, auntie love you, and I'm going to stop you right there. See you in the next read. Peace out.